want to thank God for giving us this opportunity. Before I say anything, maybe I just want to thank the county of Moranga for bringing up such a great woman and bringing all her energy in the county of Kiambu and leaving us with all the benefits and once we are done with her, we bring her back to Moranga. We thank you, the people of Moranga, for bringing up such a daughter who has left all her legacy in the county of Kiambu. Uh, personally, we are friends with Liz. We have met in the corridors of counseling and Liz was one person who believed that politics was not my way to go and I accepted her opinion because I'm sure she had never seen an a wife of an Anglican priest vying for a political seat. And so to the Anglicans, I did look like I was very sure and true. But here I am today, by the grace of God, it happened. And so they came and believed that it had to happen. And I really want to thank God because of the life that Lizzie has walked. The only thing I would want to say to the family is that the only legacy that you can carry on of your mother is just allowing the legacy that she has laid in your, in her, in, in your lives, the legacy she has laid in Kiambu County and the rest of the world, to continue. That is the only great gift that you can give her as she sleeps, that you continue with the legacy. And finally, I would say this. Somebody said at a funeral someplace, and this was Mark Anthony at a funeral of um, somebody. He said that we come to bury Caesar not to praise him, because the good that a man does is interred in their bones when they die, but the bad lives after them. I want to thank you because your mother's good is what is going to live after this. Your friend, your sister is what is going to live after this. And this can only be seen by what you're going to carry on. And so as you carry it on, we will thank God. So all of us, as the people of Nairobi, the people of Kiambu, the people of Moranga, and all those that Lizzie has touched, would only say this. Usha Jehovah, we otora giokioria, ne giaoya, jodie kioria umudi, no le ke giganere, nashiro ojelaga, ove me kikaga, ove aku. One day, I promise and we pray to God, cancer will die. Madam Sabina, maybe I think you may go and ask and you go and you may think you may have a the bishop and the entire clergy to save time the family of my friend Liz Wanyoike and my fellow mourners good evening more than Yagosho God is good and all the time I will not take much time because I came to celebrate my friend uh, Liz Wanyoike we met when I was vying for the first time at Moranga County I went to search for the women and the girls of Moranga because we knew about the boys and the heavy weight. The boys of Moranga County, we didn't know about the girls. And I went, I met Liz. She guided me. She became my friend. And we also started Moranga Daughters together with Liz Wanyoike and many other people who are here. Liz has been my friend. Even when things were tough in politics, she kept on calling me and telling me, I believe in you. She's among the few women in Kenya who have inspired us. Even if she was not a politician, she inspired the leadership in me. Liz was a very shy lady. And most of the times when we go even for the functions, I would almost push her to say hi. She wouldn't want to be recognized. She wanted to stay there at the back, but you'll hear Madame Liz. But when she appears with her big name, then people would be, wow. Ushionue Liz Wanyoike. I'm coming from Braga County today. We had a funeral of a friend of mine. And when I spoke to one of the old elderly ladies, who is a mother to one of my, my friends who came with me, Jenga, 
that lady is called Wajaraba. I told her, di koi gira kwa kutonde da kutengera, da di memorio ya Liz. Ajiro shune di muwe muno. Ajaga juri ya tiriro shoe ka inde kinyene atu miyagisha gikari hu. So today we celebrate the work she has done for our country and especially for the, our young people. We also happened to be in a fellowship with Liz. The ones who didn't know, Liz niede tenye bushi ya kero humuno na shia kuina. And even if she will not come and sing much, we have a group called Concerned Brethren, and I would have wished to Murada if you had recognized the Mehaha, you can just be upstanding because of time. And Liz was part of that fellowship. Uh, my Lordship, the Bishop, that fellowship meets every second Monday of the month and the fourth Monday of the month in the afternoon. And the only thing we do is just to sing. We praise God, we do Nyeboshia Kuiniragai, and soon maybe we'll be recording because we have become such a big group. I know JJ, you cannot believe me, but that's the truth. And so the last fellowship, I think Liz came to my house. And so uh, when she became sick, we didn't even know. I did not expect it was this serious. So to the family, we are sorry. Would have even have loved to come and fellowship with her more and sing those songs. And one of the songs that she loved, and I think we will sing, Todoreto Jeri Ha, come to my Lordship, the Bishop, Jeri. Oga kehana te akuigoro, tuniti dani o na muda maki, kagira gajira shabu, eke no eko ina gatabura, dina gike, dina gike no na muda maki. I actually thought I should have stood when uh, Kenyatta University was standing here, especially now that uh, the men were very outnumbered. I feel very much part of uh, KU, and Liz was our chair lady uh, as the alumni. And uh, I stand here also as a testimony of uh, the impact that uh, Liz has left behind. We normally say that we can forget uh, the best stars in the world for what they have done. But we never forget people who have had an impact on us, whether you're young, old, or whatever age. Uh, one time, and Liz really has been a personal friend, and in one of those occasions, when I, I was invited by KU to speak, I think in year 2021, uh, to the students uh, during the graduation ceremony as a guest uh, alumni, uh, in that meeting, uh, Liz asked me, you, you, you sound very convincing and you sound like a, you can make a very good leader. And I told her, and you know, uh, I'm also contesting in Mkoroini. And Liz told me, let, let me know how I can be helpful to you uh, and in uh, your pursuit of that seat. And in 2022, when I was hard pressed in Mkoroini, uh, with finances, I called her and I told her, Liz, remember, you said you want to support good leadership. And she came in for me in a good way and in a big way. I remember I was taken to her house by Rachel and Jerry, an artist, uh, and I met Liz through her. And in the house, she did quite an interview, if you remember. And one of the things she wanted to understand is what is it that I want to do 
and why is it that I must be supported by her? And she was very keen to support good leadership. And uh, we have to live the life that Liz wanted us to and to impact the world also. So I choose to be uh, impactful uh, to the community, to the society. And uh, she called me, she invited me to be one of her guests in one of the graduation ceremonies. I think that must have been last year. And while there, I told her I also want to be impactful, just like you have been impactful to me. And I told her I want to take one of your students and employ him in my office. And I did take one of the graduates and I announced there in that graduation ceremony, uh, Frank. And for sure, that gentleman uh, performs way better than all my other staff in the office today. And that is a testimony that the work you do at uh, NIBS is truly uh, impactful. And for that, I want to thank you. I, I just want to point out that it appears to me that Liz had laid a very good foundation and had uh, set her children uh, to really do the business that she was doing. And uh, because she has been very impactful, I want to beseech you that kindly remain united, uh, Liz's uh, children, uh, remain united and do her proud in her absence. Please uh, let us take whatever she has started to the next generation because Liz did not invest for her generation. She invested for the fourth generation and even beyond. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop, for this opportunity. Okay.